if you're ever wondering what makes me happy, it's a short list currently because I am freaking depressed, but my nails being done makes me happy, flowers make me happy, and reason number one for life. <laughs> and Marcel. <laughs> Reason number two. Oh. Hey, come here. What would I be without my dogs? This is the book that my therapist and I have been going through. Um, I decided to order my own copy because it's stuff I need to reread over and over again, but look at how many pages I've... <laughs> uh, I guess I'm learning something, but I highly recommend this book if you struggle with um, loving yourself, loving others, um, if there's some disconnect that you just don't understand, it's really broken down pretty easily to understand and um, it makes a lot of sense. It gives you little exercises that you can do in each chapter. So, highly recommend if you don't want to buy the book, um, I can add the link to her TED Talk down below because it's very important. Successfully just bathed five dogs and blue dry most of them. My head hurts really bad, but I'm trying to enjoy the sun. But it's hard. This morning I'm full of anxiety because I have to try to go and find a psychiatrist, and I don't know if I'll get one immediately or like last time I'll have to go back. Um I just cleaned the carpet in my sister's living room because I'm so anxious. I just, I'm ready for therapy today so she can pull me up to go do what I have to do later. Just gonna do a little saging. This isn't sage, but Frankie sent it to me. Focus. So that side says no, and this side says you're worthy. Three weeks post Botox and it's finally, it's not doing anything for my head, but look at my forehead wrinkles. I'm gonna raise my eyebrows. That's as far as I go. The things you have to do to get a psychiatrist. I just want somebody to take responsibility for my medication because I am not a doctor and I can't do it. Whoa. That's good. Um, I just wanted to talk about gratitude for a second. Um, I used to be a very grateful and gracious human being, I like to think. And um, though I've always thought in extremes, I was always able to find something to be grateful for, even if my life was chaos. This past year has been really hard to find things to be grateful for because I don't want to live through all the pain. And you can't just like tell somebody to be more positive or be more grateful. 
Like they really have to feel it, I feel. And I was keeping a gratitude journal for a while, but that fizzled out and I, it's just so hard for me to see the, grat the, see the things that I have gratitude for. I know I am still that person and I have gratitude, but I used to be so like carefree about talking about it all the time and now it's like I have to search for it all because of my headache, which is like, turned into this way bigger thing. So I I don't I don't really know the point of this. I just I guess are you guys good with being grateful and like with your gratitude and whatever? Like I don't want it to be fake. Like I want that's where my struggle is. Like deep down I know that I'm just like trying to fake it till I make it because I feel like absolute shit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So my friend Jill was like, look for a delivery com coming your way. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I went to my porch and Look what was waiting for me. Donuts. Mm, so nice. Thank you. Craig fam, love you lots. Can we just talk a minute for a second how crazy it was that this morning I was talking about gratitude and how I couldn't feel it. And then I started reading a book called The Universe Has Your Back. And as I was reading that book, Donuts, were being delivered on my door. <sighs> I think I owe it to the people that have been taking care of me to maybe try to try a little bit harder. today in Michigan. Um, it's like cold and rainy and that always messes with my body. I did a five minute workout earlier luckily but I underestimated how hard it would be and it kicked my butt totally. Um, hi. Right now I just can't get warm and I hate that. And I don't want to go back to sleep, nor do I think I could because I just drank a Coke. But, just wanted to give y'all a little Thursday update for the vloggy. Uh, 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 uh. makeup tutorial um, I've seen a lot of people getting fed by their hands that don't look quite right and I just want to say that I have our chance so we're gonna put makeup on today let's see how this goes okay first thing we're gonna do is grab the foundation and squirt it yes we're gonna put that on. whoa <laughs> I overdid it but that's fine then you're gonna rub it on their face Oh no, okay, so we're gonna do my eyebrows now. So what you do is you just get to an eyebrow and you just lightly, <laughs> lightly do it. Right, and then you make sure and then. Oh my God. After that little fun makeup tutorial that I just showed you, my fucking, sorry. I let my sister's rabbit out to hop around and he sprayed and he sprayed a bunch of stuff upstairs. I just can't believe this right now. COVID, Lord, Buddha, 
whom we have a higher power help us now. I'm struggling. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Just got done with therapy for the week. Um, she found a psychiatrist for me, but um, it doesn't accept my insurance, so the initial visit is $200. I'm gonna keep working on that, I guess. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get this vlog up for the week. Um, I'm so grateful for my therapist. She called eight different places for me yesterday, and she totally did not have to do that at all. I'm so, so, so grateful for her. I don't know what I would do without her, honestly. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone has a good weekend. Stay safe, stay inside. It's only 20 more days, everybody. We can do this. Yeah.